What is the value of the expression 6 squared minus open parenthesis 60 divided by 2 times 3 close parenthesis then divided by 2 squared? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? 98% of people get tricked and choose the wrong answer. Let's break it down and solve it together. At the beginning, many people go straight to the expression insert the parentheses because they believe parentheses have a higher priority than the other operations. And they immediately perform the multiplication between 2 and 3 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplify this expression and write it as 6 squared minus 60 divided by 6 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. And the next step, they move on to the division between 60 and 6 and replace this expression with 6 squared minus 10 divided by 2 squared. Then, they go to the exponents and simplify this expression to 36 minus 10 divided by 4. And the final step, they go for the division between 10 and 4 because they believe division has a higher priority than subtraction. So, they rewrite this expression at 36 minus 2.5 which ultimately gives them the answer 33.5. Then, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. However, it's not the correct answer to this question. Also, some other people when solving this question first go straight to the expression 6 squared and simplify it to 36 minus 60 divided by 2 times 3 instead of parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. And the next step, they focus on the expression inside the parentheses and start with the division between 60 and 2. So, they simplify this expression to 36 minus 30 times 3 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. Then, they perform the multiplication between 30 and 3 inside the parentheses and write this expression as 36 minus 90 divided by 2 squared. Next, they do the subtraction between 36 and 90 and simplify this expression to negative 54 divided by 2 squared. And the final step, they handle the exponent and write this expression as negative 54 divided by 4, which ultimately gives them the answer negative 13.5. And they conclude that option A is the correct answer to this question. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let me show you how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we must follow a rule that is called PEMDAS. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. It means that we need to perform all the operations step by step in order from top to bottom. Alright, as you can see in the image and this expression, first we have an exponent, then a subtraction sign, followed by parentheses, then a division sign, and finally another exponent. According to the PEMDAS rule, first we should stop with the parentheses, because parentheses have the highest priority over all other operations. And inside the parentheses, first we have a division sign and then a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, we must start from the left and move toward the right, performing these two operations in order. So, first we do the division between 60 and 2, and this expression simplifies to 6 squared minus 30 times 3 inside the parentheses, then divided by 2 squared. And the next step, we handle the multiplication between 30 and 3, and this expression simplifies to 6 squared minus 90 divided by 2 squared. Next, it's time to handle the exponents, because according to the PEMDAS rule, after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 36 minus 90 divided by 4. And the final step, we perform the division between 90 and 4, because division has a higher priority than subtraction. So, this expression simplifies to 36 minus 22.5, which finally gives us the answer 13.5. That's great. Option B is the correct answer to this question.